Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host, Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'm going to take another look at the Flex Control Panel and take a look at how you can use it to control your mix effects on your TriCaster. Super easy and super awesome. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up, and then I have my Flex Control Panel here in my desk. And currently it's set in default mode, so you'll see that uh, my switcher row here is set to just be my program and preview. I whenever I touch these buttons and it's gonna be red on top and green on the bottom. And I'll explain why here in just a second. So let's say that we're in a session uh, that has some uh, mix effects. We can use uh, mix effects, you know, to be a secondary switcher or a virtual set, etc. cetera. Uh, and we wanna go ahead and control some of the different sources that are in there, etc. cetera. Uh, we'll, uh, but we wanna do it from the control panel. We'll need to reconfigure the control panel to do that. So to do that, let's go ahead and zoom in here. There we go. Uh, so you'll see here, uh, basically what I need to do is I'm going to hold down this stripe button here. And when I do that, so let me zoom over to the other side. There we go. You'll see that I have options now that will allow me to change uh, which mix effect I want to control. So right now it's set to main, uh, which again was red and green on the colors. But if I switch it over to mix effect number one and let go of the button, let me zoom back here. And now you'll see that those buttons colors have changed to where it's like a, a light blue on top and a gray here at the bottom. So you have a, a, a color you know, a, a indicator saying, hey, I'm over here doing something different. OK, and now when we're on here, you'll see over on my uh, interface right now, uh, I, now I can start to punch up different buttons and start to move those things around. In fact, let me bring this back over to my main and let's bring up mix effect number one on my program. All right. And then let's go ahead and set it back over to mix effects number one. So now when I do these switches here, that corresponds to uh, my mix effect uh, number one's uh, switching row on there. Okay. Now this particular uh, configuration for my mix effects is just a two layer set. But what if you have a four layer set? Uh, there's ways to do that too. So first of all, let me go ahead into my interface and bring up mix effect number two, which I have set up to be a uh, four layer set. So let's go ahead and click that. There you go. So now you see I have four different options there. And let me bring that up on my uh, program output. So you can see I kind of have like a, a, f uh, a four box uh, kind of thing going on here. So let's say I want to start switching different inputs uh, on there. It's kind of the same thing. We'll go to stripe and I'll click on mix effect number two. All right. Now, uh, again, right now it's currently set up to just the B, the A layer on top and B layer on the bottom. And you can configure that by, zoom back in here, if I hold down uh, stripe again, on the far right side, you'll see that I have options for A and B and C and D. So if I zoom all the way back, you see that these are all of my options. Not only can I select what my mix effect is going to be, I can select which layers of my, my mix effect that I want to control. So if I click on C and D here and let go, and let's take a look at the interface. So right now you'll see on my interface, my C and D are stacked like this, uh, but I can go through now and change those around. So I can bring in a different input altogether like so, bam make them identical, change them around, uh, however you want to do this. So, and you'll see the switches are corresponding to what I have on my mix effect number two, which is now on my program output. So, a lot of cool things that you can do with this, uh, just a few buttons away, and you have some awesome power at your fingertips. So, play around with it, and have some fun. Boom! Yet another awesome feature of the Flex Control Panel. Now, for more information on the Flex Control Panel and information on New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner or you can visit our website, newtech.com. And for more tutorial videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And as always, if you're posting your work with New Tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on, and you might see me lurking in your likes and comments. 
Now, we will be at NAB 2023 in Las Vegas soon, so come by and say hello. I'd love to meet you all. Looking forward to meeting you all in person. It's been a bit. Now, thank you all so much again for watching, and we'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorial.